Hey guys, it's Brian again with another ceiling fan video. And I apologize in advance if I sound a little bit nasally or under the weather. I've been suffering from a sinus infection for the last couple days, so my voice may be a little bit different. But I wanted to do a video on my two new sunroom fans. Uh, I just finished putting up these two 52 inch first generation Fasco Charlestons here in the sunroom to replace my Sea Islands. These are Corsican brass with the darker wood blades. I'm not really sure what you would call that finish. I'll go ahead and I'll turn the lights on for you so you can see them. I still have them on the four speed Harbor Breeze wall controls. Like I said, I don't know what the official name is for the finish on the blades, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Motors themselves are in mint condition. And I apologize for any background noise, it's my dishwasher going. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful fans. Anyway, I was able to acquire these from fellow fan collector Patrick Neese after much discussion of a trade and a drive from Cleveland to Pittsburgh. I was able to grab these this past weekend and put them up. And now this is the first time they've been on film since they were on his channel. So, yeah, this is where they're going to stay. And also I was able to acquire a slope ceiling uh, canopy adapter through Envirofan from fellow fan collector Eric Jongward. Through his employer, they work with uh, Envirofan products, so he was able to get me two slope ceiling adapters for these. So I'm going to go ahead and start the fans on the lowest speed. Low one for both fans. And I'll tell you the kind of somewhat long story of how this came to be um, and the mishaps that I have been through along the way in order to get these up and running on the ceiling and replace the two new tone sea islands. But first, let's just observe these fans on their gorgeous low speed. Really nice aesthetic low speed. Not really a speed so much for air movement, but you know, it does circulate some air. Be a good speed for keeping the heat circulated in the winter. So the story in a nutshell about how these came to be is I was taking down the two sea islands to put up two second gen Charlestons. And in the process, I discovered in a nutshell that if you're using a light kit on a second generation Charleston, you need to immediately replace the factory pull chain. If you're using a light kit that has one of those threaded posts that comes out of it, like these single globe ones, because ultimately what's going to happen is if you use the factory fan pull chain, you're going to wind up hitting that with that threaded pole. And if you have any exposed wiring or anything, it's going to arc inside of the switch housing and cause you all kinds of problems and potentially a dead fan. So I found that one out the hard way. So now I've got two dead second generation Charlestons that I'm going to have to screw around with, or at least me and fellow fan collector Chris Held are going to have to screw around with at some point. But I'm not really too worried about that because i got these two beauties up here and working. So once that mishap happened, I said, oh boy, I need two working fans because now I don't have anything. So 
The reason that I wound up taking down the New Tone Sea Islands is because they're just not great air movers and they're kind of noisy. So, there's low two. Putting the Sea Islands back up was really not an option. So I got in contact with Patrick and I told him, I said, hey, you know, I'm kind of desperate to get two matching antique brass fans. What do you got? And then I remembered he had these two. And I said, you know, I'll make it worth your while if you want to do a trade. And we talked and made a good trade. And now here they are. So this is more of a functional low. And you can definitely feel air movement coming from them on this speed. But these just have a really nice range of speeds with these controls. And having experience with the Walnut Brown first gen that used to hang in my bedroom, I know what these things are capable of on a four speed control because the range of speeds that you get out of these two controls is very similar to the Leviton one that's in my bedroom, so I kind of expected them to be about the same. And I was definitely uh, impressed. So anyway, with a little bit of custom work, basically what I did was I reused the light kits from the Sea Islands, and I reused the down rod from both Sea Islands, and wound up ball socketing both of these fans using um, balls that would fit the diameter of these down rods and just regular ball socket mounting brackets. Obviously, new tone stuff wasn't gonna work. So, after some part swapping and customization, this is the final result. And I'm very happy with these. These are definitely gonna stay up. Medium. It was either going to be this or two blender fans. And as much as I love blender fans, and I know everybody else does too, these are just way nicer looking. Now this is the speed that I usually run on them or shall I run them on when I'm in this room during the summer or at least over the last couple of days I've been running them on medium on these controls because it seems to just be the perfect speed to move the air conditioning around and keep you cool in this room in the winter if I want a functional low speed but also want air movement you got the second low speed and then if I just want to have the fans on for aesthetic purposes, but also to move heat circulation, I could just put them all the way down. But this speed seems to be the best one to run them on here in the summer for cooling and air circulation purposes with the mini split on the wall there. Yeah, they're really, really good air movers. And now, let's put them all the way up. And of course, they're moving an incredible amount of air. The one here has uh, somewhat of a wobble to it. It's not really that bad. It's not enough to bother me. And this one has a tiny bit of wobble to it, but I've done my best to balance both of them out. I don't really want to mess with them too much. But yeah, they're just moving a pretty solid amount of air, way more than the other ones. So because I'm running out of 
memory on my phone, I'm gonna go ahead and do spin down. But yeah, these are definitely staying up here on a permanent basis. Because I can't think of anything else that I'd much rather put in here. And to be quite honest, I'm getting really tired of swapping fans out in the house. And this is just like the pinnacle of what could go in here. So I'm really happy with this install. Like I said, it was either going to be this or two blender fans. And blender fans, as much as I love them, they're not really the most attractive fans. And this room deserves something a little bit classier than that. I also had thought about putting up two heat cyclers, but you can't put lights on heat cyclers. And I need lights because I have a pool table. So anyway, there you have it. That is the two 52-inch Corsican brass Fasco first-generation Charlestons. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching. More videos to come.